Welcome back to obstetric and gynecology made easy. Today we are breaking down the key ultrasound signs of intrauterine fetal demise or IUFD using a simple mnemonic shrinked. Let's get started. So the mnemonic is shrinked and each letter stands for a key ultrasound sign that helps us diagnose IUFD. S is balding sign. This occurs when fetal skull bones overlap due to the loss of intracranial pressure. It's typically visible about a week after fetal demise. H. Halo sign, also known as dual sign, refers to a hypoechoic rim around the fetal head due to scalp edema. This another strong indicator for of IOFD. R. Robert sign. Robert sign is the presence of gas in the fetal heart blood vessels or abdomen, which can appear within a few days after fetal demise. It's a critical sign to watch for. I. The I stands for inactivity, referring to the absence of fetal movement. N. The N stands for no fetal heart activity. On ultrasound, this means there is no detectable heartbeat using Doppler or M mood. K. K is for kinking of the umbilical cord, which can be observed on color Doppler imaging. It may affect the blood flow, reducing or eliminating flow in certain areas. It's also important to measure the diameter of the umbilical cord. A dilated cord could indicate for edema, exaggerated fetal position, and ecogenic amniotic fluid. Edema refers to skin or soft tissue swelling greater than 5 mm, and it can be generalized in cases of heart failure. E. Exaggerated extension or exaggerated flexion position of the fetus, which is another sign, which is called Wall's sign. Ecogenic amniotic fluid, where particulate matter suggests fetal tissue breakdown or fetal maceration. D. Decrease amniotic fluid volume, oligohydraminous, which is another important indicator of IOFD, and it may be polyhydraminous. It could also indicate dystrophic changes signaling abnormal fluid.